What's up guys? So this is gonna be kind of like a vlog dump. Um, two videos, two, well, two separate occasions thrown into one video. So the first clip is gonna be the apple orchard. Uh, we went to one, we've actually went to two now. Um, I didn't record it the first one, I left my phone in the car. Second one I recorded at, it was just like ungodly windy and cold, so we didn't stay too long and I didn't get a lot of clips. Also comment down below, what do you guys call those? Apple orchards, pumpkin patch, or cider mills? Um, cause it's, there's always like an argument about that. So I'm curious what you guys call them. A pumpkin patch is literally just like a plot of land that has a lot of pumpkins growing on it. An apple orchard is a plot of land with a lot of apple trees growing on them. And a cider mill is where they take those apples from the apple orchard and make, you know, fresh squeezed cider. However you do it. I don't really know how you make it, to be honest with you. They're all pretty much the same. A lot of them have like little, like small zoo type well not zoo but like you know little like petting zoo type deals and you can just buy like you can get pumpkins there you can pick fresh apples off the trees you know fresh cider by the gallon or by the cup donuts you know a lot of them have you know like little food stands and just little activities a lot of it's geared for like little kids but we've loved going like every year probably gonna go to another one uh, but i'm not gonna talk too much about it but man the prices of everything at these like you used to go you could take 20 bucks with you and go to one of these things and walk out with a dozen fresh donuts and these donuts are like fresh made like right there but usually like we'll go get like a gallon of cider and then like a dozen donuts and you know a couple little random odds and ends and you're spending like less than 20 bucks these ones like we've went to and like we've been to these ones before if i'm not mistaken but the prices of everything are like double and tripled like i went to buy a pumpkin at the one the first one we went to and just your average size pumpkin like not a small one but like you know like your big ones like your normal sizes I, I think it was like 10 or 11 bucks i'm like bro you can go to kroger and buy the same pumpkin for i mean they used to be like two for ten or like five bucks a piece or something like that so maybe they went up there too i don't know but she said the price and i was like oh my god anyways though i'll put that footage in here and then after this i went to my uncle's again today so the the apple orchard was like two-ish three weeks ago and then the second clip we'll talk about that when we get to it eat it now <laughs> hey, what movie? Max! Who are you talking to? <laughs> you don't, you back there talking to your phone. No. Eight dollars for a caramel apple? Holy crap. All right guys, so this clip, um, I stopped at my uncle's today. Uh, he is building a pole, well, he built a pole barn. No, he had a pole barn built. He bought my grandpa's house when he passed away. Uh, my grandpa already had a pretty big pole barn, but it's pretty much like full of like tools and he's got like his, you know, one of those like Polaris razor things or whatever the heck you call them, those side-by-side, -side, you know, off-road machines and you know, his golf cart, stuff like that. So it's pretty much full. Um, down a little bit on the property he wanted to have like a bigger pole barn built and kind of have like a use that for like if we have like thanksgiving or like christmas dinner out there stuff like that you know we can all hang out out there 
Really doesn't make sense to me, but like I get it, you know. He reminds me a lot of myself, but uh he just wants to build like a, a one out there, like it's gonna have like a little office for him, it's gonna have a bathroom in this one, you know, it's gonna be insulated, full electrical, um, you know, plumbing, toilet, urinal, all that cool stuff. And then outside of it there's gonna be like a little patio and stuff. But anyways, I don't know how long ago, but I posted um, where I was driving the skid steer thing and I was cutting that rebar stuff for this pole barn. Uh, that's the same pole barn. So he wanted about a week ago, he had the concrete poured. Um, I was supposed to go out there and help with that, but I was at work. Um, he got the insulation and the walls done. He's got a lot of the like framing for the bathroom and his office done, but now he needs help. He rented this one of those uh, scissor jacks and basically we're going up, you know, just up and down putting these um, like those foam foil lined foam insulation panels up on the rafters up top um, he was doing it himself and he's like dude it took me like all day to get like three or four of these things on because you know they're they're pretty long that's like the size of a sheet of drywall um, so he's like going up there and like propping it up with a piece of wood and then like trying to like lift the scissor lift up a little bit to hold it and then while holding it you know trying to get the the drill going with his other hand stuff so I was like yeah I'll, you know for sure so I went out there, helped him for a couple hours. He wanted to pay me, but I was like, you know, he's done so much for me over the years. I'm like, now, nah, you know, when I was off work, like I was definitely looking to, you know, make some extra money, but I'm, you know, working again. So I was like, kind of felt good to like, be like, nah, I got, you know, just helping out. This footage is me helping him. Uh, I'll show you like a little clip here of the barn. Um, he's, you know, done the electrical, the plumbing, um, the concrete, like he didn't do the concrete himself, but he's done concrete in the past. So he pretty much like helped out as a concrete worker you know what i mean like to save a lot of money yeah so it was pretty fun to help that um help with that but uh yeah so here's the footage of that and it's kind of like a time lapse and then one clip i wasn't doing the time lapse i'm not really sure why but uh yeah here we go also love for this to go on record 
this thing doesn't look that high in the video but it felt high as heck and if you can really pay attention this thing wobbled like crazy i was up there low-key sweating bullets i was playing it cool no one knew but i was sweating bullets every time that thing started shaking i was like oh my god All right guys, kind of boring video, sorry. But um, the next video is gonna be pretty interesting. It actually happened before this stuff, but for some reason I'm editing this first. Got a couple new tattoos. Not really gonna show you, but you know, they're like in spots where I already have tattoos. The dumbest thing I have ever done to get a tattoo uh, will be forever lived with these two new tattoos I got. Um, they're, some, they're small, they're not like anything crazy, so don't expect like a whole arm piece quite a story so there's gonna be a lot of that vlog is like mostly talking but it's a pretty interesting story so you guys might like it might not i don't know but you probably caught in the video the tattoos if you look around but um yeah that'll be up next so thanks guys for watching i appreciate you um i will see you in the next video leave a thumbs up i appreciate it you know subscribe leave a comment down below all that good stuff and i will see you guys next time